guys i hope you guys are doing just fine my name is puruso burani puruso nganyezi burani so what i've decided to make my channel about is sharing my experience with knowledge right so mainly i'm just gonna discuss business management marketing and human resources or labor let's just say labor okay so these are the most important aspects that people need to be well alerted of right and mainly because a lot of us want to start businesses a lot of us want to maintain our businesses but we start we market and then we don't have the basics of how do i continue being consistent in this journey so just to alienate some of the things i have tested and tested and tried the things that I've, i'm gonna be talking about uh with my small businesses the ones that i've had throughout high school or maybe primary because i had businesses let's just mention a few things that i've done which um contain business aspects right so let me just fix my lighting so sorry about that all right i think this is perfect so you see what I mean and what what I learned, honestly speaking, what I learned about selling sweets, selling, I sold jewelry, I sold cookies at some point. And to be quite honest, moving from, from edibles, right, moving to things like beauty, like hair, I've done hair also and I learned a lot by... <laughs> I spend so much money, you guys. Funny. Especially when I did hair. I remember first year. My first year was in 2017. I remember when I did that. I would get money. Trust me when I say I would get money. Like I'd have a client. I have a consistent. I had a consistent client. I had people that came to me around my neighborhood that I've regarded too as my friends, and some family members you know and i've learned i've learned so much about handling my businesses without having the knowledge that i have now compared to the basic that i had i did business studies and now currently i'm doing a business administration course. that enables me to actually open my mind and look at life in a very broader in a broader spectrum you know so what i'm going to tell you about just to um start you guys off with this is not the first episode so i'll call this hashtag sustain your business with me right with puroso or with nganyezi okay sustain your business with nganyezi i like that okay great so the main things that um i want to talk about today is i'm getting this from strategic management right so this was just a part of what we were taught and because i felt that honestly speaking i've done all these things i want to share my knowledge and there's no other platform you know on how to manage a business i mean be strategic you know what i mean you know what i'm saying so yeah anyways and don't forget to subscribe share like and all the norms yeah you know what's up you know what's up click notification honey so you know when the next episode is gonna be okay all right can you see me see you <laughs> okay cool let's get to it so the three things that people need to understand that exist whether you're an employee or you are an employer okay there is three levels and also three levels being there's top management there's middle management and there is lower management so how those three differ is how we resolve conflict things like conflict this is how we resolve things like where do i go when there's a problem how do i escalate when there's a problem so this is a problem that i've seen or issue i don't like using the word problem this is something that i've seen that people don't actually understand that there's levels to things like there's levels and it wasn't my levels that's exactly what's there it's like in the household right in the household your dad 
Now, let's just say your grandparents are the top management. Your parents are, well, they parents. I'm, I'm sorry for air quotes. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> and um, your parents are the middle management, right? And then the children come and those are the subordinates. That's the lower ma management. So in all of this, I mentioned one of the synonyms that come with all these levels, right? So in top management, you find people like your CEOs, your COOs, your, yeah, your execs, right? They make the final decision. If ever it's a big decision, like investors coming into the company or um, us wanting to invest in something else, like your CPIs and, okay, wait, I'm mistaken in it. I think middle management definitely manages like types of things like your CPIs, your CSR, but it comes from the boss because the boss, I mean, is well alert that there's taxes that need to be paid. There's accounts that need to be managed. You know what I mean? So if especially there's like your international trading happening within that capacity of thinking of the exec, you know? So what, what else can you find? So that's about it on the top management. And then number two. This is now your middle management, right? With your middle management, this is where we find your managers, your supervisors, and what else am I not remembering? I think that's about it. Yeah, that's that's about the two. Those are the people that you find, and team leaders. Definitely, team leaders, right? So the reason why I'm placing your team leaders with the managers and the supervisors is simply because they are technically managers even though they 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 need to report to somebody else either way you know what i mean but everybody has to report to somebody the top management still has to report to the stakeholders like the customers the government you know what i mean so everybody has somebody to 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 give something to so it's not about me being the boss and then I'm just going to sit down and there's no work for me. I just wake up whenever I want to wake up or, you know what I mean? Like those are the myths that people have in the society. And the reason why research is done is what I'm understanding now that we need to break all these superstitions and myths so we can overcome things and get to know knowledge and like utilize our knowledge into wisdom, you know, and then pass it on to other people. So what I'm doing right now is basically knowledge management and like this is ugh, i don't want to go deep into it let me not go deep 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 you know what i mean because <laughs> i can get deep i can go deep <laughs> okay go let's just have a go <laughs> so i'm just going on i hope i'm not going too fast because i just get so excited when i speak about business studies honestly and all the business management part of life like it's so essential it's it's such an essential um aspect of life i believe i normally tell people that business is life and i don't feel bad about that like i'm still saying the same thing five years later of having studied business studies as a basic that i chose in grade 10 you know what i mean and i don't know it just grew into me i think also my mom's story with how business is like people in my family i believe are so deeply rooted in the marketing part of life and we take it from our grandfather so i think that's why the late grandfather would you will what i need yeah anyways and um yeah that old man is a hustler guys like he hustled through life you know what i mean and hustled meaning he used to sell amc parts he used to sell insurance like he sold each and everything and if i can just tell you what my parents have done or like my brother it's not big things but they have experience in a lot of things and not just because we've been moving around the town or the city or her guys or a baby a or whatever i'm just making my own term for seven you know and so yeah let's go back to the basics of why we are here so and another thing is your lower management all right and that's where you find your subordinates subordinates will just mask it and that will be it okay so i just came up with a plan that i'm just gonna discuss 
the eight business functions because I believe that is like the biggest thing to have and to understand. Not just to have, but to understand when you are starting a business. Like those are the top priorities. I don't know if there's an added um, business function, but what I know is that when you have a business, you need to have those eight functions in place. And if they aren't there, I believe that's why that's why a lot of businesses like are not consistent, you know. And I want competency. Like when I walk in a place, I want to see, I want to see quality. Like I don't want to walk in and be like, oh my gosh, am I in the right place? Like people spoke about this place so much that I really wanted to go, but now I'm just like, mm, I don't want to go. I think this is one of the reasons why I don't go or follow things that people overhype. Like, I would rather go for the one that's not overhyped or overly hyped. And then you get there, you get disappointed. So I'm that type of a person. I don't know how you guys are or how you are. You? Yes, me? 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm just having a bad moment. But anyways, um, so yeah. So... Like I was saying, you find your subordinates. Your subordinates are the people that report to the team leaders, your manager. Okay, wait. Before you get to your manager, you need to report to your team leader as staff. So subordinates is staff. Staff with an A. S T A. Double S. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's about it. That's definitely about it. What we're going to do now is just link everybody together. So why are we talking about the three levels of the company management right three levels of management strategic management and how to resolve your conflict okay so if ever maybe let's say Ujabu Jabu comes to 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 work late I almost said class no um Jabu comes to class late the team leader is really mad. Jabu starts attacking the team leader. Okay, yeah, you've been on my face. You've been on my back. And I don't like you anymore. You know, you just feel like, I want to quit this job. Like, I don't want to be here anymore. You know, you got that oh, energy in you. And you really have a problem with this. I've had, I've experienced something like this. But anyways, um, and I was in RCL in that year. So that's the reason why I'm thinking about this case study <laughs> and um so being rcl i didn't like my afrikaans teacher the reason being i felt like she was picking on me you know and the next door there was my my grade 8 english teacher i was in grade 10 then there's my grade 8 english uh english teacher i won't name, mention names because yeah there's people that know these people and i had a scenario with her too apparently i was talkative in class and so I decided I'm not going to be early for this Afrikaans class. Like every time I'll make it a point that, you know what, I'm busy at that time. And I walk in like two minutes late, yeah, which was really bad. And it resulted to a thing where we'd see, like the teacher ends up chasing me out of their class. So this is why I'm, I'm reverting back. I'll revert back just now. And the teacher chased me out. And... I literally was so disappointed i was like oh sorry ma'am i didn't do it on purpose like that day I, I definitely didn't do it on purpose like i do things sometimes and i may not be thinking about it but sometimes i'm thinking about it you know but that was me back then this is not me now so there's a difference okay there's past present and future right so yes i was in high school that time decades ago <laughs> so definitely i didn't do that on purpose and I just happened to be late that day. I was on duty and I'm newly in, um, what's this, appointed as part of the RCL. So this is representative council of learners, right? So it's like a prefect in some schools. And what happened that day was what turned my life, honestly speaking. I'm not being dramatic. I hope I'm really not being dramatic. <laughs> I hope I'm not being dramatic. But what happened was my one English teacher, which is the, the next door neighbor, right? After she chased me out of the class, I had to sit on the floor, dude. Like, just wait on being called in class. Like, after the dust has settled. Meaning, this is now learners going back to class. And 
we're resuming class for the second break so we had two breaks and second break is normally the time where it's not that long but it's like it's 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 an equal it's an equilibrium um rate of breaks right it's 30 minutes 30 minutes so it's an hour put together and funny thing is like the second break always ended so quickly and that's like the nicest one and guys did my english teacher not walk past me standing outside yo <laughs> only to find out english teacher next door is is i wouldn't say best friends with who's this with the head of the rcls i wouldn't say best friend but they were really tight guys did she not debat me? Make a scene out of everything. You, oh, you went, oh, you went, oh, I see, oh, oh. And why are you chilling outside? And I'm like, gosh, my mom was late. Oh, you went, oh, I see, you were late. Give me your badge. Guys, my heart. I'm just like, yo, what's going on? I can't even fight. But one thing that I did, like, after she was being a pest to me in grade eight, like, she was picking on me, literally. And I went and I apologized. I literally I told my mom about it. And she was like, no, go ask the teacher like what's going on. And like ask her if you did anything wrong. That's my type that's the type of mom that I have. Like she will tell you. Like go and confront the teacher, but like ask what did, what wrong did I do? Did I do anything wrong? And if you didn't, then if they like you can't answer, I mean I didn't do anything. And she's like, oh, no, um, I just don't like the fact that you talk. And I said, I'm really sorry, ma'am, if I did anything wrong. And uh, and yeah, we were on good terms. That's great eight. But now the fact that she's finding me outside, I was just like, I feel like you didn't forgive me, did you? <laughs> you know what I mean. So it doesn't matter. And then I got debadged over such a stupid thing, a stupid, stupid thing because of the history that I had with this lady. You know what I mean. So I wouldn't call it the universe like fixing things. That, that was the end of my freaking RCL level, guys. Like, you know? Anyways, so back to the main story. This is now you're late. Jabu, Jabu's late. Yeah. Jabu's late, right? So, because Jabu's late and they have a problem with the team leader, Jabu's being late deliberately because she knows she has to deal and she wants to pick on the team leader too, because, right? The team leader is picking on them. But you never know why the person is picking on you. They might just want you to have like a better future or become the better person compared to, you know. But sometimes you get blinded by what you are going through. And it's all about you. And it's like, oh, I'm going through a lot. And you know what I mean. So, yeah. Now Jabu goes and attacks the, te the, the, the leader. I know I'm blabbering a lot, but I really have to tell you guys this so we understand why we're talking about levels and in management, okay? And how to deal with conflict. So don't forget, that's the big point in case you are writing notes. So yeah, and like when you think about it, Jabu goes, attacks the team leader, runs to the manager. Yeah, manager, this is what happened. Yara, 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 yara. No, not even the manager, the, the, the boss. Let's just say the boss, right? And now the boss is like, uh, okay, so what am I supposed to do? You know? And now you're just there, like, Jabu's just, Jabu doesn't know what to do. I'm not going to give agenda to this Jabu, right? Jabu's just standing there, like, yeah, but next thing the team leader comes, next thing managers are like, me, I didn't know about, about this. What is going on? Like, why didn't anyone tell me? Do you understand how that makes the manager feel? That's making the manager feel like they're not respected. For one, that's making the manager look incompetent. Number two, um, that is making the manager look like they're not doing their job. They could be at risk of, lo of losing their job. You know what I mean? So this is why it's so important to understand when conflict, when there's conflict or a misunderstanding, conflict can be... I don't want to define conflict, but I'll just put a definition, a short definition on the screen, like right here. Yeah. So you guys can understand what conflict is. And now Jabu's just chilling there, 
um now there's like a whole misunderstanding you know there's like so much confusion guys the last thing you need when you're at a workplace or at school or in an organization let's just keep it at organization because conflict happens anywhere an organization can be a household because people live there as long as there's another human being involved like as much as like there's god there's the holy spirit and there's jesus you know what i mean like everything comes together as much as it's a system it works so it's not about fighting the system it's about understanding why there's a system in place because i feel like a lot of us get lost in like propaganda stuff like oh my god it's a system we need to break the system we need to do this we need to do that it's not about breaking the system it's about being better at understanding the system in the first place but let's not talk about that because i'm not a political person okay anywho so do you know what this means this means that Kuchabu, now we don't know what's going to happen to them now i'm worried about Jabu because how does the manager even deal with the team leader do you understand there's like two people in this but everyone is at fault because we clearly didn't train this staff member this employee or this learner or whoever you are in the staff realm the lower management we clearly didn't oh shit shots so the team leader is part of the lower management sorry about that so we clearly didn't train the team leader to train their subordinates in understanding that if you have a problem don't just run to my manager don't just run to my boss you know run to me report to me if you have a problem with me and i'm giving you a problem like you can go to my manager that's okay but only if i'm not doing anything as your team leader and if i'm not understanding you and your point of view okay so you need to start where you are advised to start like honestly because as an exec i'm gonna look at you like okay what what's going on you know like so what do you want me to do what happened i don't even want to know what what happened like what do you want me to do because there's people in place for that you know i may not even have the right mind to be dealing with whatever issue you have you know i'm not demeaning you but you understand that i have bigger problems like facing the stakeholders like paying the business tax the same business that's putting food in a plate you know what i mean so let's get right guys let us get right but anyways yeah i think that's about it it's a wrap it's a wrap it's a wrap <laughs> <laughs> okay cool it's a wrap um i love you guys so much and thank you so much for coming and i hope i have resolved this level management or levels of management issue and if ever you guys have questions as to like what are the steps of this steps to conflict guys there's like define identify what the problem is define the problem um what else then you can evaluate find solutions um reevaluate some of them you reevaluate the solution and then number six you can test it out and then you formulate uh have a hypothesis and then you test it out right so you can't really do something without having an hypothesis in anything i believe because you need to have a belief that you're going to get this outcome and then you need to test like what biology teaches or has been teaching i'm not sure if that's what's in the curriculum right now but yeah so this is only this is not only for grade 10s grade 11s grade 12s or first years or second years this is also for people that are trying to open their business and to understand that okay in business this is this is what we have these are the situations that we have and if ever you are looking into such a problem like how do you deal with it who do you talk to because sometimes you just never know and then in tertiary last example what i just thought about this now in tertiary there's the src so that's the people that are the student body right that's what we call them so if you are a learner you go to the student body before you go to to your 
your lecturer or your program coordinator and then in that student body there's like other little members you know that take care of little groups and not little in the sense of demeaning something or making it a miniature thing but like literally small groups like your class um class rep you know what i mean so if you have a problem go to your class rep or your what's this your class leader yeah go to your class leader and if the class leader is not doing anything then go to the other one if there's two and if they both not doing anything go to the teacher then teacher this is what's happening i don't like what's happening or i don't like what you're doing if the teacher's not doing anything go to you know what i mean to the to the head of that department you should know who your heads are like you definitely need to know who your heads are because if you don't that's when you make a mistake that is one thing that i had to learn that's like at my church there's like different territorial um management you know and i still don't understand them but at least i have an idea but i make sure that everywhere else that i go i understand that there's a leader like this like that like this right so i think that's about it that's a wrap i don't want to bombard you guys with a lot of stuff i gave you my scenario i gave you what happened to me i gave you i didn't tell you the end of what happened to my story i ended up being debatched and that was it that was the end of the road for me you know how they say it's the end of the road that's what i said it to me yeah so anyways that was my story and i gave you why it's important to have those i know i started with what i sold but as a background of why i'm doing this and what i've learned so i'm sharing my knowledge and if you wanna share this stuff with everyone else go ahead like you're welcome enough love from me <laughs> so anyway this is your girl or the lady Puruso Nganyezi Burani and thank you so much for tuning in once again I'll see you next time on the next